Couldn't find a team uh, 45 minutes later. What a waste of fucking time, bro. I, just, I really, just from the bottom of my heart, wish we had more content in this game. That was as good as something like Night Terror and Next, but didn't require you to spend hours looking for a team first, you know? The, the fact that we didn't get soloable Night Terror the last update really fucking hurts. It should have been, that was what we pulled for, and the pull got a lot of updates, it got a little noted, you're gonna get it. We got the absolute opposite, it just sucks bro, it just really fucking sucks, and I'm frustrated. Definitely not getting as much time in today as I had hoped to, but... Even then, and then I finally am ready to play and I can't even find a fucking team, bro. Like, fuck my life. I got about two hours till dinner, a little bit less. So even if I looked for a terror team still, I mean, uh, it wasn't coming together anyway. Let me just do some servers till dinner and hopefully, hopefully for the love of fucking God, we can find a team in the evening. Random ass message that I got some reward. I have no idea, but apparently I got third place in something I'm thinking. I think three points is third place in something. I have no idea what I want. Maybe the skilling points one? I didn't end up looking at it in the end. Maybe I should have been on top of that a bit more, but whatever. Finally, a Z Night Shard. About fucking time. I was honestly getting real tired of, you know, recording empty clips where I just speak and nothing happens. No Colossals, no Z Knights, etc. I did my 300 kills yesterday. I only had about 200 lux. Although I have Lux in my inventory right now, I only had 25 that I got from clearing my uh, Slayer daily real quick while doing Demonics. Almost out of spawns. I'm really happy to at least see one. Really happy about that, but my luck here is bad, man. It's really bad. We're at 3500 KC. At least, at least 3000 of those were with luck tokens. Bare minimum. And that would have meant I should have seen about 12 Z Knights. This is my ninth, and it's one in this extra 500 kills where I was basically using close to no lux. So, the fuck, man? <laughs> I'm so below drop right now, man. It's, it really, really hurts. But uh, yeah, might have to do some terror soon. I'm gonna have lunch and then try and find a terror team again. Because I'm not getting an Imbu Crystal through fucking demonics, that's for sure. I really, really want to do terror. And again, just no teams. I don't know what's up with it, lady. But no one does terror anymore. Ever since Jimbo got that fucking blessing, he stopped doing it. Iron Man got his play buddy, he stopped doing it. And now it's just borderline impossible to get a fucking team together. And it just sucks so much, man. Why didn't they make this gun so doable already? Like, for me, it's just so frustrating because I really want to get a stream going. I'm already so far behind on streams and just... It's just literally Mission Impossible up in this bitch. And it just fucking sucks. To the point where I'm so frustrated, I think I'm gonna go ahead and buy a little exotic M box. If we can just get a Shadow Red Sword, I can skip the server at Heli Grind and I can just go straight to motherfucking raids. Honestly. I'm so tired of this shit. Even though I want my recharge, I'ma just fucking YOLO it. Okay, that infernal scat damn it. <laughs> ah, it was a low ass chance to begin with, but. Oh, the frustration is really high up there, boys. Alright. Fuck it, I give up. I'm gonna go do some solos. I'm not even gonna stream, because streaming night terror solos, fuck that. I'm just gonna be chilling, but uh, hope we don't disconnect. That would be dreadful. Um, and other than that, uh, the kills are gonna be relatively slow. That is without a doubt, and that is because they changed it so that... Well, basically, Inquisitor items have an effect, right? Uh, it shows on the uh, blah blah blah. Each piece boosts damage against the Nightmare and Night Terror by 7.5%. The mace has 15%, it doesn't show it in this little description because it only just explains the special attack. But basically, you would have 15 and another 22.5% damage, so 37.5% extra damage. Which is great, and that makes it so strong, except it no longer works on the fucking pillows. It used to, doesn't anymore. So uh, yeah, that's pretty fucking ass means that uh, the pillars are gonna be a bit slow, or at least slower, but I think they have like 200 HP in solo, so using Crest Bear and everything, I still think it might be doable. We'll find out soon enough. Of course, of course my elixirs are on two minutes, so I can't drink it right now. Luckily, you can drink a Grand Elixir right over it, fuck it. Let's just solo summon, see how that goes, and hope for the best. 
All right, here we go, boys. First solo night there. What is the time on this bitch? Eight minutes and 55 seconds. Almost twice as long nowadays as a five-man team. Five minutes is about like four and a half minutes. Main difference is the pillars. I gotta run around a bunch and I just, you know, it takes like three or four hits to kill them sometimes. It's just uh, pretty fucking slow. But yeah, it is what it is. Back to six kills an hour, boys. Yay. Well, there's half an hour of night there. I didn't even show the other kill, but this is number three and I'm already way over this right now. Let's go waste the rest of our infernal lead Cerberus and I'ma just go for the heli, man. I'm, Whoa. I'm trying to stay calm and positive, but it, it's really hard at this point, I'm not gonna lie. I am just gonna go dead ass full on the Cerberus grind, non-stop 24-7, fuck everything else, fuck the recharge accessory and immu crystal and all that bullshit. If a Night Terror team runs tonight, I'll join. If not too fucking bad, I'ma grind the Serb heli, unlock raids, and that will just be so much easier to stream, I hope, at least. <laughs> at least for a while, until we get 150kc, but then after we, uh, after we get the Affliction KC for Masters, it might become hard again. Because, uh, you know, finding Master Affliction TOB teams ain't exactly the easiest thing either, but... My god, at this point I just hope the event comes out soon, just so we can get more active players again. You know, get those drop rate scrolls and whatnot. Man, it's... Ooh. Hmm. Ah, yeah. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. This is what we've been waiting for. A Colossal Cerberus, finally some good RNG now. Can interrupt something. This is gonna be number 15. I can just tell based on the epic lux in my uh, in my bag. Is I started with 50 when I started this grind, and uh, now we're at 15 to 35. So 15 used. <laughs> anyway, I'll check you all in a second. All right, here we go. Colossal number 15. Will it bring us something good? 161.9% drop rate. Come on, man, please. I even said please, bro. Now, nah, well, so be it. Oh shit, boys, it's another one! Colossal time, number 16. I'm using Infernals every hour now because I'm lazy as fuck and I really want to get this. It's such a waste, it's like 20 kills more an hour, but still. There it goes. Nothing. Unlucky. Next one, next one is the one. I can feel it already, boys. Alright boys, it's been many hours since the last clip, but we just got ourselves another Colossal. I think I just walked into range. Okay, no. We're good, we're good. I hope the record didn't freeze. It's been a while since my last clip, so sometimes it does that. But uh, hopefully not. Let's go ahead and kill this bad boy. Number 17 already. Look, I said 15 on my last one. Hmm. Hmm. And here we go. Good luck. Sacred. <laughs> He even said it, grabs the sacred token. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> okay, well, we'll take it, I guess. All right, then, boys, the event is out. This is kind of out of nowhere, but I would highly recommend you check out the Easter event or spring event uh, coverage video first at this point if you haven't watched it yet. Uh, I covered the entire update on the Hardcore Iron Man slash Group Iron Man for the World Boss, but we're gonna ignore that, there was a little oopsie there. And uh, we even did an hour of Night Terror in that video. So we're gonna basically move on from that point forward. We're gonna be doing a little bit of uh, event hunting. I currently am just about to have my dinner. So I'm just, uh, or uh, dinner? Lunch, lunch. And I have a pretty busy day today. So I'm just gonna sh take my sweet time on everything. I don't think I have an event pet yet for this one. Winter event. I don't even have an Halloween one. This account didn't exist back then. <laughs> yeah, we only have a winter pet. So we're just gonna use the uh, terror pet for the time being. So yeah, I'm gonna just do some free to play hunting. Obviously, I'm not gonna go into the wilderness on a hardcore I mean, I feel like that's a little bit self-explanatory. We did get two imbu crystals during the terror hour, but I filled both of them sadly. So no progress in that department. 7.5k token so far, not too much, it's only two rolls. But we get a nice little pink Easter Dragon Mask from it. The 318.5k token for this one, and then another 150k for the tier two. Not too shabby. Hopefully we can get some good loot, and uh, this is gonna be the main goal. 
Easter Calvite pet. The fact that you can now enchant it for basically what used to be the King Easter Dragon. I have to think about the name there. So this one, this one does the exact same thing, except it's a 20% enchant. And that is because these, this event will last a little bit shorter than the previous one. But uh, access and efficiency blessing doesn't stack. That is insanely good, especially for stuff like affliction rates where I don't have to count on my Night Terror pet. This is gonna be a huge goal to try and get it, which means I need at least five event clears to get it on raid. So we're just gonna take that as like the, uh, how do you say that? Assumption for now. We're gonna try and aim for five chest clears. It's gonna be a huge fucking grind, obviously, but we're gonna do our best and see how far we can get. Um, yep, yeah, I think that about covers it. I'm gonna go have some food and then in the meanwhile hunt a little bit of free to play stuff. Would you look at this beauty over here? Our first rare Easter imp. Looks pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie, I like that. Roinsky 1 in 300, Box 1 in 40, and then always drops in Easter eggs, which is probably the most important part because we need a lot of those stupid little eggs. Now, the first hour just reset, and as you can see, I did not even manage to get 10k tokens in that hour. Hmm. A little bit slow with the tier 1, to be expected. Now with 9 eggs, so that's gonna take a while. Leaving in roughly 45 minutes, even earlier where I have to log off to uh, get ready for it as well, so... Ooh, fuck. It's gonna be a slow event, that is for sure. And the problem is, it's only 3 weeks long. I think that is like the biggest downside of it. It's that uh, upgrading these weapons to make it faster is going to be relatively slow, let alone clearing the entire shop, which is 940 eggs in total. But the event only lasts till the 15th of June. It's currently the 22nd of May, so that's roughly three weeks. That is not a lot of time. I'm not going to lie, these eggs are not fast. I mean, I just got nine in an hour. Sure, it will speed up once you get the upgrades, but my god. It means I gotta spend at least like, what, four hours if I'm unlucky? Or if I get the same rate, a little over even, to uh, to get my first upgrade to make it slightly faster? I think this is gonna be a, a rough one. But, all with all, I'll probably end up doing Terror for the most part. I just wanna get my tokens to try and get the Easter KQ. If I get it, I think I'm just gonna roll it instantly. Yeah, it would be smart to use it and increase my token amount, but honestly speaking, if I were to get the enchant on the first try, I don't think I'll continue hunting these imps and stuff. I think I would just be done. I just want to get the pet. That is like the main reason for me doing it. If I were to get it, I would just spend the rest of my event time on Cerberus with Superior Scrolls and at the Eastern Night Terror, especially when it's like bossing hours. Um, but yeah, and then like maybe hunt shit passively every uh, once in a while, but I just... Don't want to invest too much time for an event that's only going to last three weeks, if that makes sense. I'll do my best to try and get the gay Q, but if I get it, I'm done, basically. Um, I got a lot of rewards just now. It seems like I got a shitload of vote tickets. I'm gonna have to guess that it, that you get extra votes for your vote streak? I'm not 100% sure, but it's the only thing I can think of. Get 16 votes at once. Maybe it also doubled on the daily? Not even. So that is just strictly... The vote bonus, I guess? Free prize tickets? Um, uh, more tokens? That is cool. Just got back from the movies. Ooh, Dragon Warhammer. That's uh, good room points right there. 500? Yeah, we take those. And uh, another event boss is about to spawn here in a second. Not that one. We're not doing the Chungus, because that is wilderness, of course. No, 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 no. We do the safe one on this account. Gonna kill that bad bitch. Get some free eggs and tokens. And after that, maybe look for a terror team. Yeah, yeah. All right, a little Easter Cal fight. Let's see what we get on 2KC. Oh, yeah, and I got an M box from uh, Imps, but that, you know, almost irrelevant. Oh, someone got the pet. Nice, Gretz. Good luck on the roll, sir. Let's be kind to others today. <laughs> Good luck on the roll, man. Some nice Easter eggs and shit. I'm gonna go roll some uh, tokens we have right now. You know what? Fuck it. Let's. Because... If we can just get the KQ real quick, then we can roll it right away. And I kind of want to do that. The faster the better, honestly. I think I'll even waste another 1k uh, mystery shards on the on the dust just to try and save it. But we do not get that lucky quite yet. Uh, I had a, needed a second to look at everything I got there. Nothing too crazy though. Your rune coins, that's welcome. Nice little M box, rune coins. And a still little mask, two prize tickets. 
Gonna have to clear a bunch of junk, obviously, but who knows, maybe we can get the KQ early, upgrade it, and then just not give a fuck about running the rest of the event. Alright boys, time for some more Night Terror. Let's see what we get in this next hour. Alright, here comes the first kill of the hour, good luck. Yup is also using Full Inquisitor, and it pays him out with a nice little Grand Crest. And we get tokens, I don't... Did it just cycle to bossing again? Yeah, it did. Okay, cool. Great timing, honestly. 